said we all with grinding. We grinding. That nigga up ain't perfect timing. So what's good with y'all, man? It's Jeff and K Base. I literally just woke up. I had an intense workout this morning, back to back, simultaneous workouts, working on the bounce. You guys gonna see me fly above the rim again like I used to, but we completed the welcome to the street. Literally, as soon as I got home from the lab, got my shots up in the real gym, because I don't do this virtual stuff all the time, because I do the real life stuff too. You guys remember Stretch from NBA Street. You guys see me play the game on my channel. So it's called Welcome to the Street. And I actually have gameplay. But I was going to do this little small intro. <laughs> and so basically what you do is you play against Stretch, uh, Larry Bird, I think Julius Irvin, Allen Iverson, and I don't know who else is with them. But that's who you play against. And when you play, the heads are big, kind of like NBA Jam. So this is proof that I beat it. You guys remember Stretch. Like I said, Stretch is probably, he's basically like a taller version of the doctor. He's like a 6'11 variation. Could do everything on the court. Let's view his stats and all that before we get into the gameplay. 6'11, 247 pounds, statement dunker, shattered confidence. But look at his stats. He's overpowered. But it's crazy how they have him as a stretch big. But his best attributes is Duncan. So they, they should have just made him like a post anchor. But he has 97 speed, 99 vertical, 99 stamina, 99 strength, and 3.66. And so, see, this, this is what I mean by he should be a post scorer. Because he has like most of the stuff that's inside the paint is all 99. Like, look at that 99 post moves, 99 dunk, contested inside layup, 99 post moves, draw, shooting foul. Dribbling 84, rebound 94, all ball defense. So he's like a lockdown defender. Basically, at the same time as my play, he's a lockdown defender. But yeah, he can dunk and shoot the ball just a little bit. He, he's not crazy at shooting, but he can shoot that. All right, so we are back with the gameplay. Like I literally said, the game mode is kind of like NBA Jam. So basically, we have like the bigger heads. If you guys play NBA Jam back on like PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's like one of the most funnest games ever to play for basketball as I'm throwing stretches dunk all the way over there but yeah man like I I'm kind of glad that they put this in the game but you know what they could at least gave us stretches pants because I want to wear those pants because I had an idea I wanted to make somebody like kind of like an NBA street character even though my guy kind of looks like stretch a little bit yeah I, I wish we had a fro just like that because even though my hair is like that and I have the blonde gold tips with the three little dreads hanging they could at least been more creative Magic Johnson hits a fadeaway jump shot. And like I said, you guys already saw him beginning. Already completed all of this. So we were playing against Magic Johnson, AI, Levy Legend, and the Doctor himself. Because I get a nice looking up and under move to go in off the glass. You guys going to see in this gameplay, I got blocked a couple times. Like, I'm not even over exaggerating. But yes, I did get blocked a lot. Because... You guys gotta remember, Stretch is 6'11, my guy's 7'1, but as you guys saw earlier, he's athletic. Like, his bounce doesn't even make no sense. If you guys played the old NBA Street Volume 2 games, you guys know what I'm talking about. He had the 360 between the legs dunk in the game. But speaking of NBA Street, I think my favorite character from NBA Street probably is Stretch, Bonafide, and Osmosis. And I'm gonna break it down the details why I like them, uh, majority of the other ones. Reason I like Stretch, like I said, Stretch is an all-around player. He's basically like an older version of KD. Like it's nothing he can't do on the court. He can shoot, he can dribble, rebound. Like on the very first NBA Street Volume One, he was the final uh, boss on the wall. He was the final boss to, to Michael Jordan. So when you beat Stretch, you got to face against Michael Jordan at the ends. I get my stuff rejected. Like they was blocking some shots. I'm not even gonna lie. But as I was saying, back to why I like Stretch a lot. Um, Cause Stretch had like the all around game in the first one. And then in Vanya too, he was the best dunker out of the street legends. Which I would thought Bonafide would be, cause Bonafide had the best dunk. Like Bonafide had a, okay, you know what's crazy though to me? You got like, 
it's literally dudes coming out here now with like 45 plus inch verticals actually doing NBA street dunks now. Can you believe people was even doing, like people were doing between the legs and 360 windows, but but nobody was doing no 360 between the legs like that. It's probably like three people doing it, probably like the air up there, the guy from Slam Nation, and a couple other dudes, but now like, like it's astonishing to see all these new dunks being replicated from the video games. Like that's why people really double match having video game type bounce. Cause, that, that, Cause you only see dunks like that on the video game. But and also stretch was real nice. And if you guys don't remember that the, the uh, street player is supposed to resemble like NBA players, like everybody know who stretch resembles because he's right there in the in the game. That that's who stretch resembles. Dr. J. Julius Irving. The doctor had some of the biggest hands, had the cleanest looking fro, jump from the free throw line, played with a young Charles Barkley, he got a ring himself up, Moses Malone, uh, Chocolate Thunder, probably was the first one to jump from the free throw line, but like I said, his hands are massive, I, I, I think his hands are bigger than Giannis, I'm not for sure, because him and Kawhi had some of the biggest hands, I snatched that ball out there off the backboard, looking like Dwight Howard from back in 2011. Now, on to my next favorite street ball legend, Bonafide, because Bonafide reminds me of Iverson, especially in the first game. He had a little braids, and plus, he's Dominican, but you guys you guys saw, like, but Bonafide, he, he improved his game, because in the first game, Bonafide was just like a, a pure street uh, playmaker, like a ball handler. Like, he could shoot the mid-range, he could dunk just a little bit, but in volume two, he becomes the, the new Rucker Park champion. Like he's the one you face at Rucker in volume two. And like you said, like, like I said in the video, man, he does like the most sickest dunk that you ever see. Like he literally puts the ball through his legs and sticks his whole arm in the rail. So he has both of Vince Carter's dunks in volume two and all that. So um, and then his outfit was lit because he had the do rag, the camo shorts, the muscle shirt. But you know what's crazy? He's only like 6'2", maybe 6'1", I don't know. Might, might, might be 6'3", I don't remember. But his best attribute was rebounding. Maybe because his, maybe because his vertical got up so much. That's probably why it's like they did that because he, he had that spectacular dunk. But they made his best attribute rebound. I, I think, honestly, they just gave him a rebound because everybody else had different attributes already. And now my third and favorite street ball legend is Osmosis. Everybody knows uh, who Osmosis resembles. He remembers like a, a darker skinned Jason Kidd because he was mentored by Jason Kidd. It says in a little like biography of the street ball legends in volume two. And he had a nasty move where he would dribble. Like actually done this move a couple of times. Like what he would do is like kick the ball with his feet and like flick it up. So that move was very unique too. And then he could do everything, but Oz's best attributes was blocking. Like. Like, he could literally block everything at 6'4", so he's kind of like Marcus Smart, like a, a crazy defender, but he, he had way more offense than Marcus Smart did. And also, too, his name is Lee. Like, bro, Osmosis, you call him Oz, call him Ozzy, but Osmosis is, is a dope nickname. And actually, matter of fact, I'm going to throw another street ball legend in there, White Water, because White Water definitely resembles Larry Bird. Because, bro, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, can shoot from anywhere. But then by Whitewater, he had more bounce than uh than Larry Legend did. Larry Bird is right there. My uncle also played with Larry Bird. My uncle Robert Gunn, six foot eight, two hundred and like eighty pounds, built just like LeBron, built like a brick house, like buff as hell, had a whole lot of game, but blew out both his legs. I need I need to try to get into a video, man, because like I said, he can tell you guys his story, bro. Like he bro. He was finna get signed by the Boston Celtics and tore it until he ruined his, like, like blew out both his legs. Y'all can look up the stats. This type of Robert Gunn, New Mexico State, he averaged, like, 14 and, like, 9, bro, at 6'7". 6'7", 6'8", getting stats like that. And stretches just, re it just rejected my shots, making me look like I'm a mediocre basket. Yeah, man, like, this game was really fun. Like I said... I like I mess with NBA Live because NBA Live has way more features in 2K as far as gameplay wise. Like I, I can have fun playing this game and not rage. If I play 2K, I will rage, bro. Because everyone in that game is try hard. 
as I get a 360 pump to finish the game. And you guys know that my mouth does not move, but I do not care. You guys know the face scan is messed up, so I honestly do not care. That's EA's fault on their part. Playing the game, which is me, Jeff K base. And I hope they have more live events, bro, because, you know, we're going crazy on this. And you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay flight for more content. Let's get it. Get it. All right. Stack your bread. The blicky, the blicky, the blicky. Now we come. Set man. that android free, and it will be the end of all of us. No!